Oh, no, no, slight contact. Oh, that's gonna... Oh, come on, man. I never, ever get over this bridge correctly. In three years of my life, I never got it right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel for a brand new video on WC9. We're back for episode number 31 of the WC9 community, ready for the Argentinian rally. But yeah, we're here with the beautiful Toyota. If you really love this series, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give a, a like to this video because it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. But yeah, subscribe, like this video if you're a big fan of the WC9 career mode series. As there's more things to come, including the deep series that you've all been asking for. It's coming, it's coming. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to make it. But and how I'm going to record it and all that because it needs a little bit of planning out but as you can see you told me to re-specialize my tree and that's what I'm doing for this episode as you can see I decided to re-specialize this entire tree we've got 59 resource points and my main focus was purely on damage uh, get all the re re almost all the reliability uh, perk points uh, improve the performance a lot like everything that has to do with the turbo the the paddles the brakes the aerodynamics the transmission the engine absolutely everything and as you can see here on the crew I didn't actually upgrade at all the XP thing because we don't really gain XP anymore because we we've pretty much got a cap of uh, max level 60 uh, I've improved slightly um, the team aspect just a little bit but what I did was uh, give five points to the engineer for the repairs and the meteorologist also improved the grip on some of the tires that I mostly use throughout the season and yeah that was pretty much all about the new RNG tree that's gonna be my RNGT for the rest of the season I don't care if you don't like it that's how it's gonna be pretty much uh, hopefully you enjoy it uh, but we're gonna be changing it if I do another season of the Dali Sinocker that's when we're gonna be changing the RNG tree again I decided to do a bit of um, extreme conditions event because I had an objective but unfortunately um, we're not gonna probably get any more extreme condition events after this one and we're probably just gonna fail yet again on another objective which doesn't really make sense if you don't give me the um, the amount of uh, events that I need to complete in order to get this objective done but either way uh, this seemed like a fairly easy uh, extreme condition event and we actually successfully completed it on our first try um, yeah it's just uh, very good, got a good amount of money, almost 40k there in the bank and then we're going to be doing a maintenance event to get ready for the Argentinian rally, you know how we do it most of the times here. Um, yeah, I decided to add a little bit more something into this uh, for the first time. Uh, I haven't done a historic event or an extreme condition event in a while and I decided to put a little bit of that here in this video. As you can see, getting ready now for the Argentinian rally trying to get those maintenance uh, levels, the car condition up to the maximum because uh, because Argentina is probably one of the toughest rallies, just like Turkey and Marvin, and these two are really close together as uh, the rallies that uh, deal a lot of damage to your car and really challenge you a lot in terms of the stage design and all that. Now as you can see, that was the maximum we could have done and we were actually very, very well. The car was 100% ready. 100% condition, uh, car condition, and we're now ready to move on to Argentina for the first stage. Uh, day one, we got two special stages, and we're starting off uh, with very good conditions. It's actually sunny, it's not a rainy first stage or something like that. Remember, 135% difficulty, and yeah, it's just gonna be a real, real tough challenge. Go and check out the previous episode because it was a crazy one. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, at least for now, but go and check it out if you haven't watched it already. It's just an absolutely insane, insane rally. We had a different winner, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah, away we go for the first stage of the Argentinian rally. Really hopeful for this one. Uh, we won last year here in Argentina. We had a very good epic stage and that helped us out to win the rally overly. Other than that, the pace was uh, almost similar to the likes of Neville and Tanak throughout, this, uh, throughout the entirety of this rally. Obviously now with the increased difficulty, it's gonna be a little bit tougher than it uh, usually tends to be. But hopefully we can just uh, get a victory because we really need uh, these 25 points. Uh, Neville is running away with his championship and I'm not glad that this is happening because last year we dominated with a Ford and we managed to win the championship. And this year with the Toyota, I was expecting things to be a little bit easier because the Toyota theoretically is a better car overly, which I don't really agree at all times. I feel like sometimes I miss my 4 Fiesta if I'm being honest. 
But some other times, like on tarmac rallies, I don't really miss it at all. I feel like on tarmac rallies, the Yoda is a top-notch machinery. But on gravel, um, I, I think the Fiesta is equally good, if I'm being honest. Probably some of the pro drivers are going to be like, what the actual heck are you on about? But it's just my opinion, you know. That's a nice little mistake. There was no reason for that whatsoever. We're 5 10 slower there. I feel like we were having a very good sector until that mistake there. I don't know how much is that going to cost us, but I know this stage is fairly well. The Argentinian ones um, driven a lot around them on WC8, and that's why I remember them. Uh, they are clearly some of the best stages, uh, best gravel stages on the game. Very enjoyable. The, the scenery is actually very nice with the river and all that. Yeah, I absolutely like this uh, location quite a lot. I remember this was one of the reasons I said WC8 was better than the Derali 2.0, which isn't really true, let's be honest. Four tenths uh, slower now. Gained some time. Could have been even better had we not made that silly mistake. But so far, so good. Seems like we're very, very close with the competition. Slightly around wide there. Oh, that's going to be a bad, bad mistake. Completely wrong line there. That's going to cost us around a second. Oh, no. Talk too early there. Talk too early. That's going to cost us around three seconds now. Silly, silly mistake. Didn't really make sense, in my opinion. Completely missed the racing line. That's a very, very tricky corner around this stage. If you don't pick up the perfect racing line, you're going to miss out on that. You're just going to run wide. Into right five, Titan. For flat left, into right four, keep in, and left four, Titans, rock out, 30. Caution, help in right, uphill, 80. Left four, keep in, and caution, right six, into canyon, narrows. Break right three into left six long. Last sector, a little bit narrow through there. Gonna make some contact there. A bit disappointed by my, by my run there on the last couple of sectors. So I made a few mistakes. The gap has gone up to six left seconds. Narrow, it's gonna in. be even more now by the final one. Still, um, could have been a much better first uh, stage if you ask me, but still not over. Let's see. How is that gonna be? I actually have the perk to not get any damage on stage 1, which doesn't seem like the case. We lost our rear wing and we got damage, but either way, it seems like a fake perk to me. I don't even know why this is happening, but either way, either either way, 9.2 seconds off the pace. And not that bad, but entirely missed out the whole stage on sector 4 and sector 5 a little bit. But sector 4 was the one where we really damaged our performance. D bit disappointed, if I'm being honest with that. And... Uh, you know, it's it's not a good way to start the rally, but we're on to the super special stage now. I tend to do very well around here, and hopefully we can gain some time on Neville and the rest of the guys who are ahead of us. Uh, but, um, yeah, honestly, I was expecting myself to do even better on the first stage. Lost a bit of concentration through the middle part and made a few mistakes there on the penultimate sector, which really cost us. I think that's uh, that must be... Uh, I don't even know which hind eye this is. Uh, could either be Greg, Greg Breen, it could be whoever. We literally have so many hind eyes in each and every single rally that I don't recognize them anymore. Please pass this. I'm telling this for the hundredth time. Please pass the, the amount of hind eyes taking part on a rally. It's just very annoying. It makes the constructor standings um, nonsense, if, if that makes sense. But yeah, please fix that. Crest and right three short into left three Titans two. Silly mistake. Not the best line yet again. It's all about the the racing line. I just tend to miss it out for some weird reason today. And we also don't know uh, the gaps on this one. Super special stages. Remember, you don't know the gaps whatsoever. They are known to you, so you just know. You just get a color, which is always green. So, yeah. Long. It's a flat right over crest, Titans 3 and open through water, 30. Left 3, into right 5, keep left. Can you see the hind eye up on the right hand and side? Oh, I'm making another mistake there, a little bit too fast with that. 
It's been a clumsy first lap. Hopefully the next one will be better. We get a second chance on this stage. Everyone's much do the exact same thing for a second time. So hopefully this time I'm going to be a little bit faster. Oh, I love this corner, man, where you go flat out over the water there. And this part as well. This is so, like, perfection. Perfection. You have to be perfect around this stage, man. I love this stage. And right by break for left three short, or with long of rest. Right four Titans keep into left three long. It's a flat right over crest, Titans three and open through water, 30. I like the fact that this is a night stage actually. I don't know why, but I really enjoy how this stage is lighted and all that. And so far this lap has been much better, apart from this uh, final happen there, went a little bit wide there. Not a lot of time lost though, still a much better lap overly through my favorite corner again. Oh, this is so great man, trying to control the car, We're down into the brakes for the slalom with corners there. A lot of third gear corners, I take the second gear for a tighter line, which might work out even better for me there. 426.9 let's see the overall result and it's actually going to be six seconds faster than oit tanek and thierry neville and 8.8 .8 ahead of uh, hayden Padden. and i think that is overly now going to put us on second position as we finish day one um my overall opinion uh, that stage one could have been much better uh it could have been around five seconds slower than neville but a few mistakes on stage one really costed us now the lead uh leaving day one but Going into day two, we've got yet again two super stages and we're also going to have uh, with clear conditions, which is very important. And we're also going to have a fully repaired car. Uh, didn't really damage the car a lot, despite the mistakes on stage one. But I'm very hopeful now, with only a gap of two seconds going into day two, this could actually work out very well for us. I'm using the soft gravel tires. Yet again, I feel like we can uh, make the most of them and get a good result and probably be in the lead by the end of day two. It's uh, very close though, which is something that we really needed. Uh, after the last uh, season's uh, domination in the first couple of rallies, I feel like we needed a little bit of challenge. We needed that uh, spark that we're going to make me, uh, you know, push me into mistakes, if that makes sense. When you're actually trying to catch up to someone, this is when you make mistakes. Where, whereas when I have a 30 second lead, uh, I'm a bit relaxed and I'm actually pushing a lot but I'm relaxed so uh, that's why I didn't make mistakes it's not that I've lost my speed or something like that it's I try to push a little bit more which is uh, which means that I'm trying to gain more time I'm trying to go faster and hence I make a few more mistakes which is is more exciting more interesting for me I'm trying to find my limit which is exactly what I'm trying to do before taking part in rally star and yeah I'm just uh, very very excited to see uh, how's that season gonna go and if you guys enjoyed the same as you enjoyed the previous season or even more if I was a viewer uh, seeing one second position in the championship standings and always fighting for the victory and being like a second or two slower would be a bit more interesting if I was a viewer if I'm being honest but yeah 1.2 seconds slower well I'm not happy to see that but you guys probably are <laughs> Right three, into left three, short 30. Right two, opens, don't cut, into left five, short, opens, long. Narrow, into canyon, and right three, tightens, 100. Right six, long, tightens, four, narrows, into left two. Oh no, oh come on. I've never made that mistake in my life. How did I, the, the car just didn't seem to want to break there. Such an amateur mistake there. Right uh, I never make these mistakes. Right Alright, oh, another one. So clumsy throughout the stage so far. Narrow. Into slow kings for right two. Danger. Into bridge. Very narrow. Oh, no, no. Slight contact. Oh, that's gonna. Oh, come on, man. I never, ever get over this bridge correctly. In three years of my life, I never got it right. Into left three. Tighten. Into right one. Very narrow. Keep middle. Don't cut. 
I remember saying uh, that the amount, the narrowness of the bridges uh, here in Anjani is what makes the stages better, some 10 seconds slower. I've uh, started to uh, grow a love and hate relationship with these bridges. I feel like they're way too narrow at times, especially this one. The previous one, I've never taken a correct line throughout this, uh, over this bridge. I have no idea why, but it just happens. I can't believe I've lost three seconds on that sector, honestly. This doesn't make sense. I, I didn't even make any mistakes on this one. I have no idea what's happening, but hopefully through this fast bar we can make up some lost ground there. Hopefully at least. Left five, hard break twenty, right two around rock. Into left four, bumpy, opens very long. Left six short, rock in, one fifty. Left four short, rock in for finish. Across the finish line at 506. I have no words to describe this stage. It's honestly been a disaster. Uh, it's just uh, it's killed my 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 what my my objective for day two to be in the lead. It's now 15 second gap uh, from Neville. It just doesn't look very. I'm not optimistic anymore <laughs> to be in the lead by the end of day two. We, we need to have a good result here on this stage, the end of day two. If we do well around here, then we might have a chance uh, on day three to, to fight for the victory. But until then, uh, it doesn't seem very hopeful. We're, we're, very, we're looking good for a podium, though, which uh, is very important, you know. It's uh, something. To, feel, to finish second probably would be quite a good result and also get the five points from the power stage would be a decent result if you ask me but yeah we just uh, we just have to improve a lot on on the consistency not make any not make as many mistakes as I make like this one this run through that happened was horrendous just gotta just gotta push a little bit more myself to to do better into flat right and left six tightens. Break into right four and right four tree in. Into left six break through water. And crest into left four tightens house in. Into right four keep in 30. Caution right three keep in short and hairpin left 30. Hairpin right and left three, keep in. Into right four, 50. Caution, danger, square left narrows, keep right through gate, 50. Left one, 80. I was actually fast on that first sector bar. I bet we're gonna lose some time on the second one. Wasn't again right on point, just as, as much as we needed to be on point. Oh, we actually gained time, but it could have been even better. Could have been even better, I'm telling you. I feel good on this stage, but not as good as I need to be. I need to be even faster. 2.3 seconds faster, that's good though. I'm happy for the time being. Could have been better, that's all I'm gonna say. Left by medium, caution, narrows into right six, hard break for hairpin left. That's a good herping run, absolutely perfect. That's what we need to see, that's what we need to see, let's go. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see what we're doing now. We're doing very, very good. That's a good little run, good, good little run. Let's see how much time we're gonna gain through that sector. Must be a second or more. Another happen and now yeah 3.1 seconds not too much time gain surprisingly it's a little bit tougher on the reverse now a little bit of a tougher section gotta be a little bit more careful come on don't mess it up this is taking a wider line this is just details you gotta be you gotta be on point with the details on rolling Absolutely. It's not just throttle and brake, it's all about the details. 
Hopefully we're not going to lose any time. It wasn't such a serious mistake. And left 5, very narrow, into right 4, tightens 20. Left 4, short, into right 2, 150. Caution, hairpin left, 100, bumpy. Ah, we lost time, we lost time. Just about 3 tenths though. I'm a bit, I'm still a bit frustrated by my mistakes, even on sector 2 and sec on the, pre the previous sector, I feel like we could have been even faster there. Oh, that's a perfect line. Let's try and regain all the time we lost there on that final sector, let's go. Last sector of day 2, gotta give it everything we got. That's a good line, we've got some fast corners now I think, after the square corner. And now I think we've got a fast section coming up. Or maybe not. Do we? I think we do, yeah. Right on the edge. Here. Full throttle through this final section. Nice little line. Absolutely love the flat out there. 434.5. And it's going to be 3.8 seconds faster than Thierry Neville. Neville up there. He did a very good job. He did a very good job. I have to admit him. Um, very good job by Neville there. Uh, what can I say? We gained some time. We're back to second position, which uh, seems very, very good. Obviously, I'm very happy to be on second, uh, but I'm not happy to see Neville in first. I would like to see Tanak first and Neville third or something like that. We need to gain points on Neville, and this just doesn't really help us whatsoever. Uh, positive news, uh, we have a fully repaired car for day three, and we actually don't have two epic stages in day three, which is helpful. Uh, to say the least, but we are the epic stage can tear obviously we know the stage very well Hopefully we can uh, uh, put our Knowledge into uh, into work and win that stage and win that rally That's my main target and then we go as a power stage El Condor reverse Which is just a special stage, but uh, where we go for the Contera stage the toughest stage in the WC games according to to the majority of people this is the toughest stage on the WC 8 and WC 9 game I don't know about that, I don't find it as the toughest stage, but honestly, let's just give it a shot and see how well we can do. Oh, what the, what is going on? Okay, that is going to cost us a lot of time, thank you game. I don't know why it's even freezing at this point. Oh, come on, what the fuck, man? Try number two. Um, this time, hopefully, it's not gonna freeze. It's not gonna freeze now. I don't even know what the fuck is going on with this game, honestly. Sometimes it just freezes the, the hell. Like, it just freezes way too much. And it just happens. It even happened in, back in Sweden, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't know why it happens. Like, it doesn't really happen very often, but sometimes when it wants to happen, it's gonna happen non stop on the stage. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, Hilarious, hilarious mistake, hilarious mistake. Um, I'm literally doing mistakes that I've never ever even done in my entire life <laughs> throughout this stage. I don't know what is wrong with me at this point. I'm trying very very hard to win and I'm just keep on failing and failing. Oh god, a 10 second gap from the second sector already. This is killing me at the moment. Oh, there's no brakes on this corner, man! What the hell? There's no, there's no brakes on this corner. It happened on the previous stage as well. I'm so angry, so angry, so angry myself. I don't understand. The Fiesta, the Fiesta wasn't like that. <laughs> Bring, give me the Fiesta again. I swear I'm gonna win with the Fiesta. I've never lost around Quintera. This is my my best stage, honestly. This doesn't make sense. Oh, look at that! Would you? We're living a miracle. This is a dream. This is the first time I go over this bridge correctly with a correct line, and I've made two silly mistakes. This is literally the stage of the surprises. I've, I've gone over the bridge correctly for the first ever time in three years, and I've made two mistakes that I've never made in my life today around Argentina. First good sector. Finally, a green sector. 
three red sectors. Let's try and get three green sectors and regain all that time we lost. Uh, I know it's very tough because it's a 16 second gap, but I'm going to give him my best shot. I'm never going to give up. Never going to give up. And Kings. For left six, rock in, 50. Right six, long, 50. Caution, left six, keep in. Jump over crest, rock out into flat right. Right five short, Titans, keep in for right six. For left five, into right six, into left five. And right three cut. We're gaining time, but it's not a huge gain. Like, we're gaining a few tens every single sector, which just isn't enough at the end of the day. Like, just not enough in comparison to the mistakes we made. Oh, that was a bit better. From 15 seconds down to 12, we gained 3 seconds already on that sector. It is good, but still not enough. I'm still, I'm still saying that... This could have been a much better stage had I not made the two stupid mistakes I made at the start of the of the stage. So frustrated my mistakes. Like it's it's the mistakes that are costing us. I know it's uh, a bit more difficult now with uh, the 135% AI, but it could have been a much better result had I not made this uh, stupid mistakes. Honestly. Oh, that's a phenomenal line. Very, very fast. Trying to gain every single second that I have. That was very scary there. I'm just gonna say that. But yeah, I'm just giving it my absolutely best, guys. You can under you can see that. I'm just driving like a madman at the moment, trying to gain as much time as you can. I've had four consecutive green sectors. I'm honestly giving it my best. There's nothing else I can do at this point. But I highly doubt we're gonna win this stage. Such a same, such a same. All this effort has gone to absolutely nothing because of two stupid mistakes. Right this time we're going to get the good line through there, break a lot and switch to the left there for the hairpin. Now through the narrow part on the last sector. It's honestly been a good stage. Such a good stage. Why did I have to mess it up? I have no idea. I have no idea what was going on in my brain there. I had the frizzes and all that and I was a bit frustrated I had to redo the the first couple of parts of that stage but slack contact there with the wall as always. Across the finish line 10.6 it's honestly a good time. It's a good time but it's not going to be first and it's not our goal we had a chance there. We had a chance to gain even more time and Neville who actually ended up third in this stage but you can see right there absolute perfection from sector 4 and on we lost around 10 seconds on sector 2 and 7 sector and 7 seconds on sector 3 such a same such a same and that's going to drop us even on third position 17 seconds from neville and 7 seconds from tanak so realistically going to the final stage now our target would be to win this stage obviously we have the pace to win it i saw it on the on the epic stage Try and win this stage, get the 5 points, and also try, hopefully we can be um, 7 seconds ahead of uh, Tanak. So that we can actually be on 2nd position, that's my main target. I know I'm not going to win this rally, and I know I'm, no, I'm not going to win it because of my own mistakes, of my very own mistakes. I really messed it up, I really messed it up today. Not as much as I messed it up on the previous episode, but on this one, we had a real possibility of winning. I, I sincerely believe that we could have won this rally. The previous one, I had my doubts. 1.2 seconds faster. That's brilliant. Um, I had my doubts that uh, we weren't going to be able to win. But in this one, I actually believe that we could have won. That's why I'm a little bit mad on these mistakes on the epic stage. Because I think these were the ones that costed us. Slight suspension damage. Hopefully it's not going to be an issue there. With 5 kilometers to go. Fingers crossed, it's gonna be okay. Right three, Titans, 150. Left four, don't cut, 50. Right five, Titans, and right three, short, don't cut. And left three, cut. And left three, very narrow, over bridge, into right six. And right two, don't cut, into left two. 
Gained only two tenths on that sector. Not uh, very good, but as long as we're first, that's what matters at this point. Oh, that was very close. Thank you, Bridge, for helping me out. This is a post line for that bridge. The, the other, the other one, the reverse one, is just a little bit broken. You have to be very careful in order to get it correctly. It's not like this one. This one is perfect. This is really change a little bit the stage, just a little bit, so that they make that that other bridge a little bit easier in the reverse one. Despite me finally making it through for the first time today. I love how the gravel sounds. It's like little rocks uh, that you're going over and the, the sound is very nice. The engine sounds might not be as good, obviously, as uh, Dare Rally 2.0, but I love how the gravel sounds. Just just pay attention to it. It's just so satisfying. And right four short. And left three into right five and left four keep in. For right one and flat right. Into right five and flat left. Caution, right three break into bridge, very narrow. Into right four, don't cut, 50, left three tight. That was scary. I don't know why that happened. Nice physics that we've seen. Jesus, man, that, that just doesn't make sense sometimes. The car just just literally is just like a bonk meme there. What the heck the heck happened? And left four short, into left two, open. Pay attention, pay attention, don't make silly mistakes again. We need these five points badly for the championship. Right two Titans, don't cut, 120. Left four, don't cut, into right four, Titan. Into left three, keep out, into right four, 30. Left four long, Titan. And left four short. Into right six. Into right four, Titan, don't cut, 50. Caution, right two, 30, left three slow, into right five, Titan. And hairpin left, 50. Left three short, narrow, 30. Right four short, opens and tightens three short, don't cut, 50. Left three short. Into hairpin right, don't cut. Made a few silly mistakes on this last two sectors. Hopefully, they're not gonna um, cost us the victory on the stage. Haven't been very smooth like I tend to be around this uh, last couple of sectors with a very slow speed corners. This was my actually main um, attribute on the previous game. I was very good through slow speed corners and very bad through high speed corners. It seems like the roles have reversed on this one but either way, final corner across the finish line, 5.12.5 hopefully it's going to be the first position it is going to be first position, it's actually going to be 5 seconds faster than Thierry Neville and 10 seconds faster than Oitanek, which should mean that we're going to be getting a second position in the Argentinian Rally and the 5 points unfortunately, Neville gets 4 points and that means he gets 29 points out of this rally, whereas I'm going to get 23 points, so he's gained 6 points on me for this rally it's not ideal Last rally he gained one point, this one he's gonna gain uh, six points, so it's just not looking good for the champions if I'm being honest. And especially when when you have the chance to win, you've gotta grab it. He's not gonna allow you to just mess around, because I was messing around. Especially on that epic stage, I was messing around big time, and we we lost we lost out on on the victory because of these mistakes. Literally, we we, lo we, we were ten we've lost ten seconds on that stage, on the epic stage. And I must have lost on the first stage uh, another like additional five, 5 seconds, so we could have won the rally by 1 second or something. I don't really care, but yeah, that those mistakes and the retirement in Monte Carlo is the two things that are really costing us at the moment. In Monte Carlo, we're a rally where we could have easily won, in my opinion, because of the practice I've put there. That could have even had us in the, in the lead of the championship standings, you know, but... 
It is what it is. It's a whole different season. It hasn't started the same way the previous one has started. More challenging, um, obviously. More mistakes due to pressure. And hopefully we can get over this, win a few rallies and try to give a bit of a fight to Neville. Because at the moment with a 20 second gap that he has, it's just not looking ideal for the rest of us if I'm being honest. Because I think I'm the only one that can give Neville a bit of a fight. But if he wins this championship, you know... Fair enough, he has been he's been better, but there's still a long way to go in the season. I'm hopeful that we can still give him a bit of a fight with this beautiful Toyota Yaris. But that was it for today, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and if you haven't and if you haven't turned on notifications, make sure you ring that bell to get notifications for any new videos that I'm posting on the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Joma Discus Ever, and until the next video, guys, I'll catch you later. Goodbye. I know you hear all the time, but I got the no whistle sound. I know you hear all the time, but I got the no whistle sound. Let me get that off your mind.